The year 2023 is an important milestone in the journey of bilateral relations between Indonesia and Vietnam, a memorable journey. Indonesia and Vietnam have established the diplomatic relations for 68 years and the strategic partnership for 10 years. Along the years, Indonesia and Vietnam have faced challenges together and grew together. I'm standing at the iconic Hanoi Opera House, a symbol of cultural richness and historical legacy. We are going to mark a 10-year milestone in the bilateral relationship between Indonesia and Vietnam. Tonight's program promises an evening of cultural richness, artistic expression, and the celebration of a decade of strategic partnership. Presently, the ambience is vibrant and bustling. In attendance are not only individuals from Indonesia and Vietnam, but also distinguished guests from many other countries. The program begins with the national anthems of both Indonesia and Vietnam. The atmosphere is charged with a sense of pride and camaraderie. The resonant notes of national pride fill the air as we pay tribute to the independence and sovereignty of both nations. The ambassador highlighted a remarkable chance in the bilateral trade volume between Indonesia and Vietnam over the past decade. He noted that when the strategic partnership began a decade ago, the bilateral trade volume stood at 5 billion US dollars. However, as of last year in 2022, this figure shared to an impressive 14.2 million US dollars. This threefold increase clearly signifies the substantial role in economic cooperation between the two nations. Today we celebrate the 10 years anniversary of strategic partnership Indonesia and Vietnam and you see the growing number of trade relations, bilateral trade between Indonesia is triple during those years. The meaning of this, both countries growing to the right direction to develop our economy. And economy is very important when we talk about these two nations because we have big population, meaning that both governments have big responsibility to the population. So what we need to do between Vietnam and Indonesia need to maintain the economic growth, uh, provide good education for the young people in Indonesia and Vietnam. So Vietnam and Indonesia are among the two biggest countries in ASEAN, meaning that we need to, to strongly support ASEAN to maintain ASEAN as region of peace and stability and then where economy can grow. I'm uh, talking in my uh, speech today about the five sectors for the future. Number one, agriculture. Number two, fishery. Number three, number three high-tech industry. And then renewable energy and then digital. With these five uh, uh, priorities, Indonesia and Vietnam can achieve to become high-income country in 2045. The younger generation assumes a pivotal role in advancing the bilateral relationship ties between Indonesia and Vietnam. Their presence infuses the event with a reservoir of vitality, self-assurance, dynamism, and an eagerness to engage in the rich tapestry of cultural exchange through their performances. As a young individual in of Vietnam, I believe that the cultural exchange and also nurturing the young generation is extremely in building a very successful bilateral relations between Vietnam and Indonesia. As an MC today, I see that we have no boundary for the cultural exchange like the music. Everybody want to dance, want to sing. And uh, we also have many alumni of the Indonesian Scholarship for Art and Culture. And they're also a very talented uh, artist, the June of uh, Indonesia. They are so energetic, so active. And I, I, I think that they dare to change, they dare to do something new. So that is what I want to learn from them, that energy, I love that. As the night draws to a close, it's clear that this celebration has left an inable mark. The smile on the faces of the partnering guests tell a story of shared experiences, newfound friendships and a sense of collective achievement. We do believe that the laughter and camaraderie shared in those hollow halls will echo in the hearts of all who were present, reminding us that the true essence of partnership lies in the connections forged on a personal level. There are the ties that end up shaping our course of our nation's futures. Quỳnh Anh, international correspondent for C Today from Hanoi, Vietnam.